Hi there and welcome back. My name is Andrew and this is Civilization 6 on the Ukrainian channel. Welcome back. This is the first, uh, fourth episode um, dedicated to our Chinese leader Qin Shi Huang on day T on standard speed. And uh, the strategy that I'm trying to apply here is to uh, grow tall for the first uh, 60 turns and then go very wide for the rest while trying to focusing on science for the rest of the game and trying to get uh, a scientific victory on day team, which is not going to be easy due to the fact that our neighbors are the Koreans. <laughs> so the best uh, scientific civilization in the game, maybe also Scotland can compete in my perspective, but uh, definitely Korea is a great, great opponent. So it's going to be tough. Let's get started. Catherine, the Magnificent, is declaring a friendship towards us. Why? What's her agenda? Like civilization that trade luxury resources to her. This like civilization that have not made such a trade. Okay, interesting. However, having a friend is always welcome. So let's continue. Uh, we have here an archer that can stop. Absolutely. Next turn. As you can see, we have two settlers that are ready to, to settle down. And here, oh my god, 20 horses and upper borders for uh, votes and marble and gold. Okay, I think I will give horses, but I will ask for more gold. One time payment, yeah, that can be. Let's accept, we are going to have marble and this is going to help us. I'm very happy about this. Military tradition could give us maneuver or uh, strategos and the flanking, that which is also great. We keep the conscription, we keep the agoge so far, we keep the colonization and the curve. Yeah, we keep everything. And now let's continue our exploration. Civic. Defensive tactics. We could go to the Malusoleum of Alicarnassus, one of my favorite uh, wonders after Petra, which is amazing. Um, the statue of Zeus would give us uh, three arches, three spearmen, and a battery ram plus reduction towards anti cavalry unit. Wow, that's just amazing, but uh, I don't have time to build so much stuff. Mysticism instead would give us an envoy, and it costs nothing, so let's do that. Only one turn. Next. Your delegate learned that France has conquered the capital of Vatican, Vatican City. Oh, France. Oh, France. Okay, so uh, we are going to switch to uh, plus two great scientists per turn as soon as um, we have Petra, <laughs> which we are not going to have. But, uh, Guangzhou has been founded. Let's use now the quarry. Okay, how to use Guangzhou now? So we are going to focus on um, on food for the month, for the time being. So Guangzhou has to grow; it has a very good potential, and 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 uh, I think where do we go? <coughs> Sorry, Peter might go here. Just one tile. That's one tile uh, below um, the range of the capital, by, because here then I could probably build a culture district. Let's think about that anyways, or, or, or just use the, the tile, I don't know. Mm. I, will, I will think about that. Let's go to the drum and poetry. And let's choose the production in Shanghai. Okay, we have done a spearman. I said we need to try to defend ourselves. Let's also get an archer. We need to fortify the unit in the forest. It's, go it's going to be strong. Now our army is 113. Yeah, an extra archer will definitely not arm. And in Guangzhou, uh, we don't have a lot of possibilities. We could already theoretically build a commercial hub, for example, here. Then I'm not going to continue it, but I will just place it. Why a commercial hub when I can have a, a, a actually a very nice port? 
and uh, I could have uh, the, the port district here between the crabs and the fish. That's also, that's also an idea. I could have both, but you know, that's not the, the most uh, significant, the smart move. I'm going for a monument for, for uh, four turns and then I will switch. Okay, we have three builds. I'm going to use the farm. I'm going to improve the farm. And now let's send envoy. We could Sazerain Granada, which is military. Plus one production in the capital and in every city with barracks or stable. Four productions of units. Yeah, but units, uh, it's not specifying if, whether military or civil units. That means also our settlers, if I pick Granada, also our settlers will, be, um, will get this bonus. Oh, Dido. We met the Phoenicians. We met the Phoenicians, guys. That's great. It is an honor to meet you. Wow, she has 430 as military strength. She's, de she's devastating. Wants to settle coastal cities, likes those who settle inland. Uh, dislikes those with most coastal cities. Okay, uh, that's, that's going to be good so far, but it's going to be bad in the future because I am going to settle most likely... I have only one coastal city now, but I'm planning to settle another four coastal cities. Uh, probably also... Uh, during this episode, I am afraid. And I'm also afraid about the catapults of this guy here, to be very honest, but that's another story. The Apadan has been uh, built. Okay. What a desert. Uh, we found another city. Taruga is giving you the quest to recruit a writer. Mm -hmm. Great. We have just improved uh, a farming Guangzhou, which is providing five food. So Guangzhou will grow significantly. And now we are going to build a mine on this hill. And then we are going to pick the umber. Ah, it requires sailing, that's why I've never been there. Whoa! Another nature wonder, the Matutipila. But I have the feeling that it's far away. Where, where, where? Where is it? Ah, my Otoma. Ah, the French have that. Matutipila, they of course built a holy site nearby. Yeah, good. That's why they have so much faith. Maybe they went for a religion, who knows? Catholicism. Founder and met player Hindu and met Shinto. They founded the Shintoism in France, um, and Buddhist Buddhism was founded by Korea. So Korea and France are competing with their religion. I have to delete these markers, and uh, soon I will be able to found my fourth city, a coastal one, a very good one to be honest. Bam. Kalharia. No, Kalaharia is something different. Uh, it's a continent. Yeah, it's a continent. We founded Jiaodong. Let me see the continent map because... Aha! Now we get it. Uh, we are in Mu, but this city, Jiaodong, is on another continent. That's a pity because if my capital was here, I might use then the colonization card to boost all the rest. But yeah, life is not always so easy, right? Um, let's use our builder to... Power up uh, the, the ships here and let's immediately keep this as it is. Now, the archer in Shanghai is completed. I think that from a military perspective, we are not super strong, but we have enough troops to stop an invasion. Um, I might consider another um, district now in Shanghai. Uh, and I, I was thinking about a commercial hub. A commercial hub that could then potentially also oh, let me see what is the what which are the adjacency bonus a river plus two an arbor plus two 
plus two for every district, for every two district, plaza, custom by T, Pomocale. Okay, now, mm, yeah, that's not so easy to say. I could put it here, to be honest. That could be an idea. I could also pre uh, prepare an entertainment complex, uh, which is giving, uh, yeah, that could be also an idea. And then I could try to build a Colosseum uh, in this uh, here. And the Colosseum would give a lot of amenity to all the cities around. The question, the very big question is, am I able to get a Colosseum at the moment? And the answer is, no, I don't think so. Another uh, opportunity might be to build uh, here uh, a barrack and, and transform Shanghai in a military city and protect ourselves from the Koreans. But honestly, they think we conquer the Koreans later on and uh, this is going to be useless. So let's stick to the commercial hub. Let's build it where I didn't plan to do anything else. Here. And we will have a commercial hub in Shanghai. Now, Jiao Dong starts with minus one amenities, of course, uh, a lot of housing and a lot of room for improvement. A campus, wait a second, why can I do a campus here, but I cannot do a campus here? Because I think Shihan already, already stole this. Uh, let me think. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, okay. I could build the, the scientific district of Xi'an in this position, but uh, I think I will use either a quarry or a mine or something because I don't have so many uh, tiles. I am going to build in Zhaodong right away a scientific district uh, between four mountains with a plus four adjacency bonus. Now we have our defensive line. Look at that. So much fish. <laughs> so now we are blocking this, uh, this entrance and we have three uh, arches behind. We have another archer in Guangzhou. Zhao Dong and Xi'an don't have arches. Maybe I will build uh, um, a defensive unit in Xi'an as soon as these colonies will be ready, this settler. And we have mathematics. So Guangzhou switches immediately to Petra, uh, which goes here, we said. I think so. I think Petra should go here. And uh, now we need to keep an eye on that. So the boost on food is now important. And we go because uh, Pet uh, Petra, Guangzhou must grow. Uh, but on the other hand, we have also to provide a mine here. Wonderful. And uh, uh, we must be very fast and get sailing because we will use the purse and we will use the amber. Sailing is fundamental at the moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, this guy has still one build. He goes here. This other guy has a lot of bids, but he goes directly on the purse. And now we have the possibility to found another city. So my idea would be due to the fact that those two uh, slots are unlocked. Okay, here it could work already on, uh, on iron, which is great. But I think I will move this guy uh, far away. And I keep my scout here to protect and check. I want to settle close to the nature wonder and secure it. You never know what can happen. Maybe someone can, can settle somewhere else. And now let's have a look at the research clear. Um, the masonry is important. Let's go to Xihan and probably uh, give the order for of an archer because I want to protect myself. Before going to the next turn, let's speak with Catherine 
because we might be able to sell one vote is costing nine you see this is amazing let's give all our votes to Catherine and we ask for a lot of gold she says no I cannot do that but I could give you 138 one-time deal and five per turn and I say yeah that's that's great thank you my dear friend what else do I have I have horses I have horses Catherine hello so one time deal 97 uh, why don't we say 90 100 she says she cannot accept 97 or nothing let's take the 97 let's go to Dido now and let's try to have a deal with her for a horse she would give me 10 gold so let's give also 20 horses three and nine per turn which is amazing which is amazing let's do that and now we have a good amount of money already in our pocket and as you can see we grow plus 12 per turn this is a, this is a solid and healthy economy already if only i had uh, another trade route uh, to power up Guangzhou, that would be a great day for me but that's not, not so easy it's not so easy okay At the moment we have more, uh, I know, I, I, I made a mistake. I thought we had more power, military power than uh, Korea, but that's wrong. That's wrong. I, they have 244, we have 170. Okay, so, Zhao Dong. Zhao Dong. Should get this fish. Uh, this is great. This is great for our arbor. Very good. Let's go on the horseback riding so we will be able to maybe have a couple of horsemen since we have horses. Uh, that's a pity not to use them. Okay, uh, she's getting critical because uh, we grabbed a lot of resources and we are not sending any. Oh, my dear friend. Okay, conscriptions remain. Agoge remains. Colonization remains for a while. Everything stays as it's supposed to be. Drum and poetry is done. Let's go on the defensive tactics. And Xihan now goes directly on a settler. Okay, let me see if I am able to build the Great Wall here, uh, close to Shanghai, which would provide a lot of nice things, but also defense. Very good. Very good. Okay, now we have also Amber. So probably we fixed our issue of um, having a lack of uh, resor luxury resources, hopefully. And let's go for the construction, of course. Uh, why? Okay, we should build a water mill so we boost the... Uh, we, we don't have a mine. Oh, really? I should mind this anyways. The wheel, and then I, I, I want to, to promote my archers into crossbowmen, so I can say I will be finally relaxed. Oh, now we have a drought. That's bad. Xian now doesn't go so... Yeah, whatever. Look at those guys! What are they doing? Are they trying to attack Xi'an or attack Wangzhou? With, with, with a bunch of, uh, I don't know, of, uh, of warriors. Th that might be possible, you know? They might think something so stupid. It's the IA anyways. Who knows? Okay, we have the commercial hub. 
and uh, what I'm going to do, uh, I want to see if I can purchase a market. Uh, unfortunately not, I, I have to beat the market. We are working on the campus here. We are working on Petra there. Amazing. There is Mali in the game. Okay, construction. Um, what I'm going to do with this amount of money, I cannot build, uh, unfortunately, a water mill in my capital, but I can build, I can buy a water mill in Shanghai. It's pro, uh, bonus resource improved by farms, gain plus one food each, and the city must be adjacent for, to a river, plus one food and plus one food, uh, plus one production. Honestly, I don't have a lot of rice or wheat to use that uh, we will boost me so much. Uh, so maybe I can do that in Guangzhou and uh, not just because of the plus one on farms, but uh, because it will boost a little bit and speed up uh, the construction of Petra. So this is definitely something I can do. Now Guangzhou has a, a water mill and now we will have in in five turns, we will have the terracotta mill, lumber mill, and so construction will be there. Good. Okay, we reached the end of the continent and the barbarians are kicking our butt. Fantastic. Okay, this builder cannot build um, a great wall. Not yet, I think I have to destroy the forest first. And due to the fact that here an enemy could hide, I, I'm going to destroy the forest and uh, boost a little bit the market of Shanghai. Oh no, no, God, no. We just, we've just lost the purse. I have to move my archer to Zhao Dong. I hate this. Okay, guys, uh, we have found Changsha, close to the natural wonder and other citrus, which we are going to sell directly to uh, Catherine. Automatic exploration. Let's play our last turn. Changsha uh, can do what can we do here? I would suggest to. No, the monument is absolutely useless due to the fact that we have uh, culture. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Pyramids might be a very good idea. I would try to build the pyramids in this city. Not joking. I. <laughs> I start new cities with a wonder, but pyramids and uh, and Petra together. Oh, I really hope I will not lose them both. It would be such a disgrace. <laughs> let's continue. Let's go ahead. Oh, did they say the last turn? Just one more. Okay, fine. Uh, Xihan, we have another, uh, uh, just one other um, Settler to build for the time being, but uh, I also need a builder to fix all this mess. And so, guys, ladies and gentlemen, we started with two cities, now we have five cities, and by the end of the next uh, episode, probably seven, and then we will start building up our districts and try to make sure that the competitions against our neighbors is getting stronger because as you can see um we want to win scientific but uh, the Phoenicians says uh, have already like four times our science production well 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 that might be problematic so <laughs> i think we will have to consider how to overtake them ladies and gentlemen if you like this video please leave uh, a thumbs up uh, if you didn't do it yet, please subscribe to this channel. Much more is coming. Uh, many other videos, also other games, not only Civilization, of course. So I think it's going to be fun for us uh, as a community. And uh, anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time.